At Davis Security here once again with Tunisia Security Update on Saturday, July 17th. Now, as most of you that have been following me, you know that I'm here in Tunis, Tunisia, and I'm sharing uh, my updates and insights as I go along in my trip here. Now, actually, we've been sharing updates on this page since 2007, and we just wanted to take a moment to thank the more than 5,000 people that follow this page. So thank you for your support, and I appreciate everyone's feedback negative and positive so today i want to give a quick update about the situation here in tunisia but before uh, i let my uh, critics start <laughs> killing me in the comment section uh, i just wanted to point out that this is not travel advice not whatsoever and i'm just sharing my experience here so that you as a traveler or if you happen to be living in tunisia as an expat that you have some information just something to look at and then you make your own choices that's the beauty about uh, information you read and you decide what's good for you so let's just jump right in this morning I woke up to uh, uh, chanting coming from the mosque a repetitive chanting and I'm told that the mosques here are broadcasting these sort of prayers all day to help the situation in Tunisia the COVID situation in Tunisia has reached a critical level and uh, these prayers are being offered in hopes of uh, the situation turning from pretty much a desperate situation to uh, some light and some hope. So as you can see here, the situation, the health situation in Tunisia is not good. At this moment, Tunisia recorded 205 deaths in the last 24 hours, which was a daily record since the start of pandemic. Uh, this was reported by the health ministry on Friday. Now, on a more positive note, various countries throughout Europe and the Middle East uh, have sent much-needed medical supplies, including oxygen supplies, to Tunisia. So that is something to point out, uh, hopefully, that this, these supplies, along with the various measures taking place throughout the country, will help the situation. Obviously, Tunisia has a long way to go before it fully recovers, and it is not the best time to visit or travel to Tunisia, especially if it's your first time. Now, if you have family in Tunisia, and if you understand the way things work here, you know, you may make decisions that are different. And guess what? Not everyone will agree with your decisions, but that's why I like to uh, share information on this page so that you have a full picture of what's going on and then you can make decision based on your security and safety uh, tolerance. And um, so that's my update for today. Uh, always happy to hear from you in the comments section, positive or negative, like I said, make your own decisions, not travel advice, stay safe.